Thank you, Charles. Charles, my TV husband for a long time, gave me some of the best advice I ever received in the business. And uh, as if, if I'm the mayor, I'm going to be living by those same words, Charles. So thank you so much. I'm trying to make some room here for these microphones, you guys. Your microphones are taking up a lot of space. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you for being here, and especially in Riverfront Park today. Um, means a lot to me that we're here because this is where I've covered a lot of the stories in my past 30 years of being in television news. It's where we've covered Bloomsday and Fourth of July celebrations, Hoop Fest, and now the very exciting renovation that's going on here in the park. The new home for our historic loof carousel and the popular ice ribbon and the renovation still going on around us today. Cannot wait to see what it's going to be like when it's all finished. This is a park that we all get to enjoy because of the dedication and hard work of a man named King Cole. A legend and a visionary. He worked tirelessly traveling 700,000 miles to convince local, state, federal, and world leaders that Spokane was big enough to host the World's Fair. My family was among the five and a half million people who came here for Expo 74. And I'll tell you, it was an eyes wide open experience for this 12 year old. Cole's legend requires us not only to take care of the city treasure, it challenges us to make his vision dynamic, infectious, and constant in improving our city. It is amazing to see what we have become and to imagine what the future holds. Those of you who know me or have watched me over the years know how much I love Spokane. I came here nearly 30 years ago to continue my broadcast journalism career. My husband and I raised two children, Connor, Coley. We're here with Connor's, well, our future daughter-in-law, who we love just like a, one of our own. It's where we've made lifelong friends. It's where we've been active in the community, and it's where we own a small video, comp uh, video production business. Spokane's future is our future. Today I see a city government that has made some real progress, bringing more accountability to our outstanding Spokane Police Department, starting the long process of repairing our streets, we've got a lot more work to do, and investing in stormwater projects that keep our river, our most important natural resource, clean. At the same time, City Hall has been bogged down with bickering and charges of employee bullying. Instead of solutions, we get political posturing and grandstanding. We get secondhand ideas copied from somewhere else to ignore federal laws, dictate energy use, and adopt open door policies for our city buildings that just don't work. We are not California. We are not Seattle. We are Spokane, and we're proud of it. With dedicated, trusted, and transparent leadership, Spokane will not only define, we will solve our own issues. Spokane deserves better, my friends, a lot better. This is why I am running for mayor. Over the years, I've gotten a close-up view of the real challenges before us. First, the need to attract more startup and new businesses, and to help existing businesses flourish and grow and hire. We need a vibrant and safe downtown and secure neighborhoods. Property crime and auto theft have been unacceptably high for too long. And we must do more to protect the, more, the most vulnerable and those who are suffering. Those are the homeless, the drug addicted, and those living in poverty. These are issues that cannot be ignored and must be addressed with compassion. I believe it's going to take all of us together to find and enact policies to effectively combat the challenges that face us now. I intend to take a hard look at the ethics and employment standards to protect city employees, especially women, from bullying and harassment. And we need a change in leadership. What is the use of a good idea if you are so caught up in fighting or you're so abrasive that you can't build the consensus to make it happen? Let's free up our city employees to do the great work that they're trying to do, serving our taxpayers without having to deal with negativity and conflict. 45 years ago, King Cole looked at Spokane and said, we can be something greater. 
We need to harness that vision again today. Over the past weeks, I've been inspired by the discussions that I've had with business leaders and people who are driving remarkable innovation and investment in our city. Businesses like Rover.com, who just moved into the new Wonder Building, and Ignite. We need to celebrate and learn from their successes and experiences. That's all of us working together. We will make Spokane's future brighter, more prosperous, and safer. Consensus building will lead to Spokane solutions that work for us. And leadership that is committed, focused, and effective will make all the difference. Finally, an important part of the mayor's job is not only to work for sound fiscal policies, but to be a good communicator, a good listener, and above all, an advocate for Spokane. I will be a mayor who will work my heart out for Spokane because my heart is Spokane. And I promise I will never embarrass this city. This isn't just a campaign, it is a coalition that will seek Spokane solutions to our shared issues. There will be no challenges that we are afraid to confront, no voices that will not be heard, and no real solutions that we will reject. That is why I am running for mayor. Come and join our coalition, be a part of this Spokane movement. Thank you everyone for your interest, your prayers, and for being here. Now let's get to work. And I want to thank all of my, my family, of course, and my friends who are here. Uh, this represents a real collaboration that I, I want to make very, very clear. Uh, this is a nonpartisan race. This is a nonpartisan position. And we need to collaborate to get things done. You'll see behind me people from both parties, you'll see business leaders, you'll see teachers, you'll see friends, business owners. And that's what this is about, working together to solve our issues. So thank you for all of you for being here. And uh, I couldn't be more proud for my city and excited about what happens from here on out. <laughs>